Hey, what's up, y'all? Today we're exploring different modes of cost effective transportation. We're talking about those vehicles that you could just pop out, hop on, and get from point A to point B very quickly. On the left side, you see a very cost effective version of the master cycle. As you guys know, we we just don't have a master cycle in Tears of the Kingdom. I know a lot of players are heartbroken, but a YouTube creator by the name of Mystic B Gaming created this master cycle. Now, I'm not sure if he's the original creator, but his channel is where I learned how to create this master cycle. Super dope, super quick and super effective. We're going to show you guys and compare the pros and cons, explain some of the differences that I noticed between the two builds. On the right side, I'm calling this the Austin John Mobile, as I first learned about this build on the Austin John Plays YouTube channel. It's probably one of the most cheapest builds you can make in the game, so it's really good for you players in the early game. And I gotta tell you, it's a little speed demon. If I'm not mistaken, the Austin John Mobile cost about 9 Zonai to make, and the Master Cycle is not much more than that. Let's first get into how to make these builds. Then we'll talk about some pros and cons, and if you got a second, drop a like on the video. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. All right, yeah, so we're going to start with the Austin John Plays Mobile. And what I'm going to do is break this down. So I'll go into my auto build. Hopefully I still have one in here and I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah, I just made the uh, master cycle a second ago and here goes the build for this. So we're going to use this to break it down and uh, see it only costs nine Zonite to make. Uh, and we're going to put this over here and we're just gonna cancel out so it could break down there. And it's a very simple build to make. It's nothing complicated about it. That's why this build is so awesome. What we're gonna do is uh, take this small wheel and we're gonna flip it on its side. And we're just gonna put it down there. And then you're gonna take uh, the stabilizer and we're gonna rotate it up. And we're gonna put it like right in the middle area. If I'm not mistaken, that's the best place to put it. And when it sits up straight, this is going to bring it up straight. So that's why you want to have a stabilizer and it helps balance it so you can put your control on. We're going to flip this back around and we're going to lay it. Oh, well, yeah, we're going to lay it flat like this here so we could put the uh, control on. We'll just put it up here and rotate it over a little bit and we're going to place it right about the middle area now if i'm if i'm incorrect on the placing you might have to make some adjustments i've come to love this vehicle but um i'm not an expert at making it so if you guys know any better please share your thoughts in the comments but that's what you're seeing here and it can reverse as well that's what's dope about it too and it's really quick so it's one of those get up and go type of vehicles definitely something you want to consider super quick to make and now let's get into how to make the master cycle and this has quickly become one of my favorite vehicles to use uh we're gonna use the auto build to break it down and do the same thing we did with the uh austin john plays mobile uh, i'm gonna use this auto build right here you're gonna need a wheel like one of those wheels from the hudson construction site uh but outside of that you need two small wheels a cooking pot we'll just show you right now let me just go into this build thing here so that of course 18 to make it of course you 18 zonai to make uh the austin john mobile costs half of what this build costs but man i tell you i think paying the additional nine zonai will probably be worth it i think you guys have come to realize it's probably worth it for this build i guess it's dependent on how, how much zonai you guys actually have so what we're gonna do here is we're, oh we're also gonna need a stake to set this up let me um let me get out a stake real quick go in here here and take out a steak i'm missing three i'm missing three of these and i don't know which ones they are if you guys know please let me know in the comments i would love to know which ones i'm missing uh we're gonna take out that steak and we're gonna not go into our auto build i hate when that happens but we're gonna go into our ultra hand and we're just gonna flip this around here like this and then what we're gonna do is take one of these small wheels and we're gonna uh put this right on top right on top of the stake and then we're gonna have to we're actually gonna have to get one of those uh construction wheels but there's a construction site so you might want to be doing this by a construction site there are always a bunch of these huts and construction sites all over the place so i'm gonna just take one of these wheels for the sake of making it i could use the auto build but i want to show you guys how i made it with a wheel here so we're gonna take this back i'm gonna just gonna i wish we could throw these it would be so dope if we could just kind of toss them <laughs> instead of walking so slow uh but what we're gonna do is take this wheel and we're gonna put it 
you see there's a groove on the top of uh, the small wheel. Well, you want to put it like right in front of that groove at the very top. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's where we're going to mm, that's where you don't want to put it. If it attaches to the side like that, you definitely don't want it like that. It has to be on the top because we're trying to attach to the axle. We want to use the axle for the small wheel. So we want to kind of attach it to the top here like this. I should have I should have went overhead because that's much better. There we go. So that's going to be on the top. And that's exactly what we want to see here. And then the next thing we're going to do is take our stabilizer and we're going to uh, flip this over. We want it to be upright. So and we want to we want this to attach to the axle of the Hudson construction wheel. You see how it's attached to the axle there? So we'll put it like that it should fall over. And that's what you should see if you attach it to the axle. The next thing we're going to do is take the cooking pot and we're going to put it from the bottom side. We're going to attach it there. So we're going to flip this toward us. So the bottom is facing the um, master cycle. And we're just going to place this as low as we can. There we go. You see, I went down a little bit more. Yeah, we'll place it right there. Bam. And then we're going to take uh, this small wheel and we're going to flip it so that it's very similar to this wheel here. And we're just going to attach it. You know what? I'm going to flip around this side because for some reason, I wish we could kind of rotate the camera as we're uh, trying to make placement. Because I tell you, sometimes it's misleading in your placement. I don't know if you guys go through that, but I go through that quite often. I'm going to place it. I think I, I think I realized on my second build to place it a little lower here so it's easier to get up hills. But I'm just going to place it on here so you guys can see it in action. And we being that we got the stabilizer on the left side of it, we're going to put our control on the right side. So we want to kind of flip this so that it's uh, this way here. And again, the same issue. I can't fully tell. I'm going to have to come on this side here. And we're just going to place it right on... Let me see if I can get a good position here. And yeah, right about there. And now you should be good. So what you're going to do next is kind of remove this stake so you can kind of get going. I should have removed the stake first uh, so that when you you should remove the stake first and then place your last piece. So you remove the stake first and then place your last piece so that your auto build doesn't have a stake in it. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. But that's what the master cycle looks like. And we're just going to take it for a little spin real quick. I'll take it. I'll jump right off of this cliff for you guys and uh, we'll put this into action. Then, I'll, then we'll talk about the pros and cons. Now, both of these are pretty much get up and go. And we're going to take this right off of the cliff so you guys can see how it handles it being that you got a stabilizer you could pretty much go over hills things that you weren't ready like you you couldn't really do with the austin john mobile you can do with this here and that's what i really like about it. when you're using this vehicle you're really going to want to pay attention to the front end the front end will control everything as soon as you get the hang of uh understanding that you're controlling the front end of this vehicle you'll start maneuvering much better as opposed to trying to motion from the position of where you are on the vehicle uh uh, super effective man i really like this one the most the controller that i have with this one is really something amazing and uh, we're gonna get into that as well i love that i could really kind of maneuver through any obstacles uh because of that cooking pot that's in the middle all right now let's get into the austin john plays mobile surely one of the cheapest vehicles you can make in the game and it's super fast it'll definitely dart you from point a to point b very quickly but considering that zelda tears of the kingdom doesn't work on flat terrain and this vehicle has a very difficult time of going up hills or getting up over objects it just gets stuck real easy it just seems impractical for like the terrain that we're on i'm definitely curious to hear what you guys think about it if you try it out let me know your thoughts in the comments if i had to make a choice between the two most definitely i would choose the master cycle i feel like i'm mastering the maneuverability on the ground moving at speeds that i'm not even used to moving i actually feel like i have more control over this master cycle than i do just running around if you guys end up trying both of these again come back to the video let me know how they worked out for you this was like one of those super fun type videos i really enjoyed doing it if you got a second before you leave drop a like on your way out i want to thank you guys so much for tuning in y'all be sure to keep it locked right here at all city 2 for a bunch more zelda tips tricks and walkthroughs i'll catch you guys on the next video or live stream easy y'all